Hello everybody. Now today we are trying to explain to you one very helpful function bypass SA in the Western Digital Thermal Repair program. Now we power on this Western Digital laptop hard drive connected to DFL SRP thermal repair hardware. We power on the drive as drive gets ready. But sometimes your drive may be keep busy. If the drive keeps busy, we need to short connect TV9 and TV10 and wait until the drive gets ready. Sometimes, even if the drive gets ready, but we cannot enter the program and read the ROM, that means the ROM cannot be back up. So at this time, if the ROM cannot be back up, we need to short connect TV9 and TV10 and wait until the drive gets ready as well. Now the drive gets ready, we can enter the program. So at this time, we can find there is one function under the ROM operations, bypass SA. Actually, for this function, it is actually to modify the ROM contents to make sure the damaged firmware modules on the platters a lot read. So that means we bypass the SA. So at this time we can access to the SA to read these modules without being affected by damaged firmware modules. Now to use this function the very first thing for us to do is to read ROM. Now we can read the ROM, yes. So within log window we can find that the ROM is back up successfully. So after we back up the ROM, the next we can click bypass SA read. So at this time we can see the processing bar is processing the execution and log window we can find the execution success. So after this one we can use execute firmware restart. Then they wait until the drive gets ready again. So next we need to create this program and re-enter the program. Now please note we don't need to power on and power off, power off and power on the drive because we have used the from restart. It's the same as the power off and power on. So at this time we can enter the program again. Now we can see that the hard drive has not been detected. But to bypass the SA, there's one thing we need to do. That is to note the overlay. So within DFL WD Formal Repair Program, we can use one function, Auto Node ATA. So here we can find one dollar drive with the same microcode. Now this is daughter drive. Okay. So we select the parts to note the ATM modules. Yes, yes. After noting completes, that means after noting the ATM modules, we click OK to enter the program. Now we can find the model DR read success. That means the module one has been found. After module one, that's the module map, is found with by the program. All the former modules can be found here. So at this time, we can use read modules to back up all the former modules. Now we can find all the firmware modules can back up without any problem. And at this time, we can use one function called common repair, slow initialization fix 1 and slow initialization fix 2. Usually, we just use this one and it fix the slow initialization problem. Over 90% of Western digital drives have their snow initialization problem. 
we just simply click on it and then after fixing it we need to write back the original ROM remember write back the original ROM then we can execute firmware restart and wait until the drive gets ready create this program re-enter the program now we can see the drive is back again now we have fixed the damaged firmware corruption and get the drive alive so the spy plus sa function is very very helpful remember when you cannot read the ROM and you cannot use this bypass SA function. When you want to read ROM, try to short connect TV9 and TV10. Some drives you can read ROM and use bypass SA directly, but for some drives with severe snow initialization problem, you cannot bypass SA because you cannot read ROM. So you can only short connect TV9 and TV10 to read ROM and then bypass SA and then node ATA and then read all modules. So this function is very helpful and very easy to use with the DFLWD firmware repair program. Thank you for watching this video.